Hello everyone, my name is Prabhjit Singh Bhaga and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco Systems. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, or why we need the Cisco Launchpad Auto Mode app to create the Cisco Catalyst Center. And Cisco Catalyst Center, it was previously or formerly known as Cisco DNS Center. So let's get started. I want to start off with uh, how we used to deploy or how someone would you deploy the Catalyst Center or Cisco DNS Center on premise as a physical appliance and what all things they had to keep in mind. So they always had to keep security in mind. They had to keep the on-premise physical Cisco DNS Center or Catalyst Center in a secure data center. They also had to secure it with passwords that only certain folks can uh, access. They also had to, uh, had to care about what's the throughput or the bandwidth that the uh, physical appliance is gonna get. So they had to attach the right cable, 10, 10 gig cable, uh, and as Cisco, we ship the boxes with the right uh, SSD drives so that all that experience of Cisco DNS Center or Catalyst Center is seamless. Um, and in the day two operations, a network admin had to care about if, if a cable went wrong uh, or if there was a CPU spike, how would you go and troubleshoot that? Uh, and then also, if there was anything wrong with the physical appliance, how would anyone go and then troubleshoot those problems? So now when we go to AWS or when you go to the cloud, um, you have, well, we are now deploying the Catalyst Center or Cisco DNS Center on AWS and then connecting it to all of our devices that are sitting on, on premises on an enterprise or a branch network. Now, we have to, again, think about all of those things uh, like security or um, right hardware. Uh, how would you troubleshoot the day two and stuff like that in this AWS world? So what we have done with this Launchpad application is uh, we have taken those uh, complexities away where all of your challenges around uh, creating a secure uh, channel for your, uh, for your Cisco DNS Center or Catalyst Center on AWS, uh, we have put that in a secure VPC, uh, with, which is controlled by right ports and access lists uh, going uh, to a security group. Um, and then we also create an automatic transit gateway or VPN gateway uh, to connect you back to your corporate network. Uh, we also create a user lock so that only and only an admin who's approved by the Launchpad app is able to make any changes. Now, uh, we also have taken care of uh, AWS is uh, choosing the right SSD drive, the GP3 SSD, uh, the, uh, choosing the right S3 bucket, uh, choosing the right storage format so that you don't have to worry about all of those components on AWS. Uh, same thing, once you have your Catalyst Center up, we also want to make sure that it's always up and running. So AWS offers CloudWatch um, functionality where all of your uh, uh, issues uh, and any changes in your AWS infrastructure is reported. So with Launchpad app, you can. we have also enabled CloudWatch alerts. And with SNS notification, you will get an email if there's anything wrong with your network on AWS or your Catalyst Center on AWS. And at the end, with Launchpad app, we are also able to make it very easy for Cisco TAC to troubleshoot if there is any issue. We, can, we'll, we make it very easy to create an RCA bundle that TAC can look at. And they won't just uh, troubleshoot the Catalyst Center, but also your AWS infrastructure which is massive. This saves lots and lots of time for our network admin. They don't need AWS solutions architects uh, certifications. Uh, they don't need to learn their AWS. They can do everything with the simple Launchpad application. Now, uh, if you were to do this manually, uh, as you can do security manually on AWS, but you have to figure out what are the right ports that I need to open on my uh, AWS uh, with the security groups for both incoming and outbound rules. So, you have to figure those out. You have to create that security group manually. You have to create a VPC manually. Uh, you have to also create that IPsec tunnel or direct connect or SD-WAN tunnel back to corporate network manually. Even if you don't do that, there is no way for your uh, Catalyst Center to go and uh, discover and manage devices uh, on premises on your enterprise or branch, and the devices cannot send the telemetry data back. So what are the, some of more benefits of the Launchpad app, right? So first of all, uh, Launchpad app securely connects to your AWS account, and this Launchpad app uh, resides in your own data center or on your computer. Uh, it can run on Mac, it can run on Windows or like a Linux server. Um, and once this connects automatically, we create the security parameter, like I talked about. 
It'll create the right VPC for you, the right security groups, a transit gateway back to corporate network, and everything is tied together with this Lambda function uh, of code on AWS. We don't just stop there. We also help you create this IPsec tunnel back to your corporate network. So all you have to do is just give us your public IP of your firewall or router, and we will create that IPsec tunnel for you. Uh, we'll give you a config that you can go copy paste, and then the rest of that is taken care of, and Launchpad will tell you when that IPsec tunnel comes up, which is going to save you a lot of time. And finally, if you're used to physical appliance, uh, you have went through the config wizard where you have to manually key in the IP addresses, NTP server, proxy server, DNS server. We have taken all that complexity away, and we are doing all of that in a headless manner with the Launchpad app. So with the cloud config initialization, we are injecting all of these parameters. And once we do that, whenever a Catalyst Center comes up, DNS Center comes up, it will automatically get all of these configuration. And finally, Launchpad, like we talked about before, it, it generates those CloudWatch uh, monitoring dashboards and alerts so that if there's any problem, you'll get an alert and that will save you a lot of time. So think about all of these things that has to be done manually on AWS, but with Cisco's Launchpad, you can do all of that uh, automatically with Launchpad. So uh, for connectivity from AWS to corporate network, uh, there are three kinds of customers. Uh, one is uh, the ones uh, that are just going to uh, have Catalyst Center on AWS, and all the rest of their components are on-premises. So we have them covered as well. Uh, so Launchpad allows you to create one VPC with one VPN gateway, connect to the corporate network with IPsec tunnel, and you're golden. Now, other set of customers are somebody who wants more and more uh, components on AWS, just not the Catalyst Center. So for them, we create a transit gateway, which works like a hub and spoke model, and multiple VPCs can be created connecting to the transit gateway, and then transit gateway connects to uh, the enterprise firewall or router. We also support an existing customer of AWS. So say you already have an AWS with your transit gateway with the connectivity of SD-WAN or direct connect back to corporate network. We can take that attachment and you can uh, use that with Launchpad to create a new VPC, connect that to the transit gateway and uh, create a Catalyst Center. So we have all of these scenarios covered. And your existing uh, a transit gateway can be any of the following. It can be IPsec, it can be Direct Connect, all of these different scenarios are supported. So like we mentioned, security is thought about from day zero uh, with the Launchpad uh, application, right? So you are already secured in the AWS crowd inside a VPC. We also create this VPN gateway and firewall on both the sites. And then through the secure IPsec tunnel, all, only and only the right IP addresses and ports are allowed uh, to communicate back forth. So there might be a question, is my AWS, is my Catalyst Center secure in AWS? So this answers your question that we have all of that capability already present uh, with this application and it's gonna to be totally secure on AWS. There is not gonna be any internet access uh, to your Catalyst Center or DNS Center directly from AWS. So any communication has to be through this tunnel that we are showing here. So only enterprise devices can connect to the Catalyst Center and nobody else can talk to the Catalyst Center. All right, so just to refresh, these are the things that we get from the Launchpad application. Um, uh, Launchpad will create a VPC for you, security groups, the right storage that's needed for a high throughput and bandwidth for Catalyst Center to perform and does do all the AI ML analysis onto Cisco DNS Center or Catalyst Center. We also do give you the right connectivity path back to your corporate network. And then we don't just stop there. We give you all the right monitoring and alerts automatically from day zero so that if there is any issue, if TAC wants to troubleshoot uh, this Catalyst Center on AWS, it can do that by creating RCA bundles uh, and it can do that by getting notifications. So, all of these are covered automatically by a Launchpad application. Here we are giving you a timeline of what it takes to get going and get to your all your use cases on Catalyst Center. So earlier, it might have taken weeks for you to order the device, uh, the ship, ship the physical appliance, get it racked and stacked, cabled, and get figure out what networking you want to put, and then go through the installation. It, it could have taken weeks uh, over there. 
with Launchpad and AWS, we are showing here that we can create a pod in a few minutes, and then uh, we can open the firewall ports on your enterprise site, and then it can, within 60 to 75 minutes, you are, you are ready to perform all the use cases on Catalyst Center or Cisco DNS Center. So this is massive time saving. Uh, and this is loved by a lot of our customers that are deploying a Catalyst Center on AWS. And we have 100 plus customers today who are deploying Catalyst Center on AWS. Now, how do you actually get this Launchpad app? So we have two ways to getting Launchpad application. Uh, and we're gonna show you in the demo on how to actually create this Launchpad application. So the first way is through a, a container that is available on software.cisco.com. We have a client and server container files. You just download it on your computer or a Linux server and run those containers and your Launchpad application is available right there on your computer. It doesn't have to go outside on any network. It will stay right there and then you can uh, access uh, AWS and start creating all that we just showed you today. The next one is a hosted version of Launchpad. So Cisco actually hosts this in North America, uh, this Launchpad application, which can be accessed via dna.cisco.com. If you do this, you don't have to access, uh, you don't have to download any container files on your local computer. You can just go to this browser and start accessing Launchpad application. Now let's get into the demo and we'll see how easy it is to get these going. So the first way is downloading through a container. So here we are at software.cisco.com. And in Launchpad 1.5, we can see the client and server applications. So when you see the client, we can download both the client and server tar gz file for Launchpad. Once you download it, you, you will just need to load the, uh, the server and load the client tar gz file. Once you load it, these will be available as images, container images. And then you just need to do a Docker run for both client and server, and you can see the container is ready to go. Now you can just go to a browser and you can go to localhost uh, slash VA launchpad. And this is the UI that you will get. Um, we just ask for your user's access key ID and secret access key ID. And we have, an, we have given a URL as to where to go and get that. We didn't want to stop just there. We have created multi-factor authentication also. So through Duo or any other uh, method, you can create that multi-factor code or verification and you can type in that code and then and only then uh, you'll be able to, uh, your Launchpad will get access to the AWS uh, infrastructure. Now, this is how that Launchpad dashboard looks like. We have made it possible for you to deploy uh, the pods and uh, DNS Center globally. So this is really amazing. All right, the second version is that hosted version. Here you go to dna.cisco.com and you log in with your CCO credentials. Once you log in, you get taken to this DNA portal where you can just go to the hamburger menu and click on VA Launchpad. And it was that easy. Besides that, everything else remains the same. Enter your access key, secret access key, MFA authentication, and you get taken to this dashboard where you can start managing your pods and creating more and more Catalyst centers right from that Launchpad application. All right, so now you saw how easy this was to install Launchpad either through container or hosted uh, version that Cisco provides and all the benefits that Launchpad will bring you if you want to install Catalyst Center on AWS. Now, we have provided all of these references uh, for you to go look at. Uh, we have our YouTube channel where we can so you can see more and more videos. We also have deployment guides uh, for creating Catalyst Center on AWS. Uh, we have some release note documents, some FAQ, and check out our next videos if you wanna actually learn how to deploy uh, Catalyst Center from end to end from Launchpad application, uh, to the end or through manual mode using CloudFormation template. Thank you so much and keep learning.